It's less than a week since Ben Wallace attended a NATO summit dominated by the war in Ukraine. But now he's confirmed he's quitting as Defence Secretary, probably in September, and leaving Parliament at the next election. He's been Defence Secretary for four years, the longest serving Conservative in the job. But just weeks ago, his hopes of getting the top job in NATO were dashed. And though he's been seen as a safe pair of hands, last week he embarrassed Rishi Sunak by saying the UK was not an Amazon delivery service for weapons for Ukraine. And people wanted to see gratitude. I know President Zelensky has repeatedly expressed his gratitude uh, to me and to the British people and indeed other allies uh, as well. Uh, he did it very movingly in Parliament when he was in the UK earlier this year. He's quitting, revealing that threats from Russia, China and terrorism keep him awake at night. But he's proud of winning new money for defence. He's a Scots Guards officer, I mean, you know, trusted, straightforward, honest, and he did a good job. And he's done a good job in an MOD which is struggling with finance and, and with its, its, the size of its military. But for more than a year, his job has been all about the war in Ukraine, waged by Vladimir Putin. It was Russia that declared the end of a phase one. Uh, I'm not sure I really believe the sense that it was a phase at all. I think it was a, a slightly face-saving exercise. They are still carrying on indiscriminately bombing civilian areas, striking targets way outside the Donbass. Uh, so their actions, as ever, don't match their words. Mr Wallace was one of Boris Johnson's earliest and strongest supporters, but he won't trigger a by-election like the former PM. Mr Wallace says he told the Prime Minister his plans on June the 16th, but he'd hoped to make the announcement over the summer. But, he says, someone in government briefed in the past few days that now might be the right time for him to stand down. But his decision to go is a blow to Mr Sunak in the middle of a bloody war. The important thing is that Rishi Sunak appoints someone else of capability, of strong capability, to be the next Secretary of State for Defence. James Heapy, the number two, uh, would be a very good choice and, and there will be others. For a few more months, though, the burden of the war in Ukraine is on Mr Wallace's shoulders. John Craig, Sky News.